So the next burning question I have is, what are the most important criteria needed to succeed or have a career like yours? Well, I would look at my career into two perspectives. The first perspective is, I am a speaker, I am a trainer, and I am a consultant. Now, in order for you to succeed as a speaker, number one, you need to have a lot of courage. A lot of courage and a lot of confidence to stand in front of the crowd with the willing heart to share whatever you have. I believe that's the most important criteria that you need to have. Sometimes I believe people try to become too perfect and they tend to criticize themselves so much. They tend to believe that they are never good enough. As long as you have that negative mindset about yourself, you will never succeed in my industry. Because in my industry, from what I've known, all the world's most renowned speakers, trainers, and consultants start somewhere. They start off sharing their ideas, and along the way, they learn from more people, they learn from their experiences, they get new knowledge, they repackage themselves, they repackage their presentation and ideas, and then summoning all the confidence again, they present it to the audience. So I think that's the most important. Oftentimes people fail because they are aiming to be too perfect that in the end they ended up not doing anything. So I think in order to become a powerful speaker, you need to first have the courage and the confidence to appear on stage or to just share with people about your ideas. Now the second criteria on how you could be successful becoming a speaker or a consultant is to be interested in knowledge. Now this is not meant for everyone. I have known friends of mine who are a little bit laid back they would prefer sticking to a 9 to 5 job which is routine. They do the same work every day. Now, nothing wrong with that. That's fine actually. However, if you want to be successful in this industry, one thing you need to have in your mind, that one principle. There is only one thing constant in the world and that is change. So every day you need to develop yourself. Every day you need to improve on the ideas that you share with your target audience. And the third criteria for you to be successful in becoming a motivational speaker or in becoming a consultant or a trainer is the heart to connect with people. That's right. Even before you start inspiring, even before you start giving advice to businesses, you need to first be honest with yourself. Do you actually love helping people? Because only when you love helping people, that is when your heart will open, your mind will be aware to learn as much new knowledge that you can so that you can share them out to others, so that you can make those knowledge become meaningful to others, that it would help them either increase their profitability, increase their productivity, increase their motivation, or basically making them better human beings. So that would be the first three criteria that I would recommend if you want to become a successful speaker, trainer, or consultant. Now again, in my role, as I've shared earlier, I have two perspectives of seeing it. Number one, I am a motivational speaker, a trainer, and a consultant. Number two, I'm also a business owner, a CEO, a leader. So I believe the criteria to succeed being a leader running a business is, number one, you need to be a team player. Oftentimes, leaders fall into the trap where they want everything by their own. They want people to follow only their ways. There's that saying, it's my way or the highway. But it doesn't work that way. One thing I've learned growing up as a young entrepreneur is, there will be plenty of people out there who are more talented than you, who have more expertise compared to you. But one of the things that you can do is to motivate them to join you. And once they have joined you, you need to then help them develop their talents, develop their potential more so that they could help develop your business further and at the same time develop themselves further. Now, the second criteria that I would recommend in order for you to be truly successful in your career as an entrepreneur leading an organization is having the problem-solving skills. Yes, 
But oftentimes people tend to say, but Michael, problem solving sounds so hard. I'm not that smart. Well, guess what? Problem solving starts with your initiative to want to solve the problem. The moment when you tell yourself that you see a problem and you don't run away from it, you are already telling your mind that you are now prepared to go talk to people, to go research on the internet, to go and seek out your mentors, to go and learn from sources that will be able to give you more ideas on how you could solve that problem. Problem solving is a key right now, I believe, among leaders, among CEOs, among business owners, especially for you to remain competitive in our global economy. So that would be the criteria that I would say has led me to my success in my career and in running my business as well, both as a speaker, trainer, consultant, and as an entrepreneur, a business owner.